Hi, I'm Sonia Richards-Ross, four-time Olympic gold medalist. I would say at 16 I realized if I worked really hard and kept at it, I'd make the Olympic team and two years later as a sophomore in college I made my first Olympic team in 2004. I trained five days a week. I'm on the track for two hours, uh, in the gym for two hours, a lot of core work, at least a thousand sit-ups every night, and then eating right and resting. The thing about being an Olympic caliber athlete is that your work is not just done on the track or in the weight room, it's 24-7. It, it took a lot of work to, to get to the Olympics and to go there three times and, and be successful, but it was all worth it. So post London, I've kind of been up to quite a few things. Uh, the first thing is we filmed our own reality show, which I was really excited about, and we're waiting for our second season, so hopefully I'll be filming that again soon. I had toe surgery, um, and I actually had to have a second surgery, and now I'm finally recovering, so I'm looking forward to getting my training back up and running and having a tremendous season next year and going into Rio. I want to do one more Olympics. And my sister and I also own a business in Austin, a hair salon, and we have our own line of hair extensions. So I keep myself pretty busy. I love everything that I'm working on. I have some other things in the works as well, but my primary focus is to get healthy, get back on the track, and prepare myself for Rio. Black History Month is by far far my favorite month, not only because I'm born in February, best month, but just because it really gives us an opportunity to reflect on where we've come from, highlight so many of the heroes in um, the African American community, but it also gives us a chance to see where we are and where we're going and how much more we have to accomplish. So for me, Black History Month has always been very special. I think of Brown versus the Board of Education when schools were no longer segregated. And for me, that always sticks out because my coach, Coach Clyde Hart, was actually a part of that, the first school in Arkansas that was integrated. He always talks about that. And I just sometimes can't wrap my mind around that because we're so used to being integrated. Um, I take the responsibility of being a role model very seriously. Um, I just think it's such an honor to be able to do what I do, and I know that with that comes a great deal of responsibility. And so for me, I try to carry myself in the best way possible. I not only represent God and my family, but so many African American girls that aspire to be great in whatever it is in life. And so for me, I, I try to be a positive role model. Um, my very first role model is was Merlene Ati. Um, she was a Jamaican celebrity sensation, uh, one of the best 100 meter runners in history. And I remember as a young kid thinking I wanted to be just like her, but not only because of her strength and powers on the track, but she was always so poised and so relatable and did so much in the community in Jamaica. And similarly, my American track and field role model is Jackie Joyner Kersey. And I loved her grit, um, her determination, but also all the stuff that she's done in St. Louis, which is her hometown. Um, and getting to know her personally has been a great thrill. There's so many special moments in history that remind me of how strong my people are and how far we've come and, and always inspire me to continue to really give my best because of the shoulders I stand on.